Then Samuel took a vial of oil and poured it upon, the, upon his head and kissed him and said, Is it not because the Lord had anointed thee to be captain over his inheritance? To be captain over his inheritance? So anointing makes captain out of men. Was anointed and made captain over God's inheritance. You need anointing to reign. You need anointing to reign because anointing is what empowers you. Anointing is what empowers you. You can't truly reign over the territory that God has given to you except you are anointed. He said, brethren, I want to know that anointing is not for preaching, it's for living. Tell somebody anointing is not for preaching, it's for living. If you want to live a successful life, you want to live a victorious life, you need to be anointed. You need to be anointed. Anointing is carrying the tangible presence of God. It's anointing. Carrying the tangible presence of God. That is anointing. Everyone needs to be anointed. Everyone needs to carry the tangible presence of the Lord when you move out. Because you don't know the forces that have arranged themselves to withstand you, to resist you. You need the power to overcome. I, say, I need the power to overcome. I need the power to overcome. You can't crush the devil until you are empowered. That's what you call anointing. It's anointing we are told that destroyed the yoke. It's anointing that destroyed the yoke. It says, and it shall come to pass that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder, the yoke removed from off your neck, and the yoke destroyed by the anointing. Isaiah 10 verse 27. And the yoke destroyed by the anointing. It takes anointing to destroy yokes. Things that resist you. Things that want to hold you back. It takes anointing to rest. So many a times when you talk about anointing, people think, say, I'm not a preacher. No, anointing is not for preaching. It's for living. You need to be anointed to live victoriously. You need to be anointed to be in charge. To be anointed. 